Hello learners, this is Habiba with Excel with me with a new topic of UGC NET Education Paper 2 Unit 3 Learner and Learning Process. Please do subscribe to this channel if you like the videos. I will bring more informative topics in near future. So today's topic let me discuss that is approaches to intelligence from unitary to multiple. We have discussed many topics under this. Now we are going to take up the subtopic that is multiple intelligence. Introduction. The theory of multiple intelligences was first presented in 1983 by Howard Gardner, a psychologist, when he published his book Frames of Mind. He declared that learning occurred through many types of intelligences and that people had various levels of each. We have discussed about many things re related to intelligence. What is little intelligence? Having many traits in one person related to anything maybe. Having emotional intelligence or creativity or any other intelligent individual. We have discussed about intelligence. Now, Howard Gardner, what he says is, in one individual, there are many traits, that is many types of intelligences. There are multiple types of intelligences, he says, not one single trait. So, let us discuss about in detail, in his Howard Earl Gardner, born July 11, 1943, he, is a develop, he was a developmental psychologist, what he says. Traditionally, it was believed that intelligence was predetermined and fixed. Despite one's best efforts, one is not able to grow or increase his or her intelligence. So, in traditional way, what we used to think that intelligence is already fixed and predetermined. We already we are having inside. We cannot pursue that intelligence, they say. Despite of having so many sh efforts shown growing increasingly with anybody's individual intelligence. People accepted that this was unvarying. If you possessed only a small amount of intelligence, there was not much you could do to change this. There were tests that could determine your level of intelligence based on your answers to what were considered standard questions. Earlier, so many standard questions were made, questionnaires were given to people. They used to fill those questionnaires. According to that data, they used to determine that small amount of intelligence were, could, could not be changed, they say. If that person is having that intelligent means that small amount intelligence that person is ha having that cannot be changed. So many tests were conducted with standard questions, standard tools we say. Now Gardner returned to the original definition of intelligence and reflected on the skills and abilities needed to solve problems within a culture. Based on current knowledge of the world, the brain and communities, what skill set is desired and what are humans capable of. What he realized was that intelligence could not be limited to one group, but instead could be classified into nine separate intelligence areas. So, what he says that is different areas a person can possess. To further make his theory unique, Gardner argued that we possessed all nine but that each individual was strong in different intelligent areas. Obviously, each and every person has that kind of intelligent but all the nine uh, traits are not strong enough. Those nine intelligence are not strong in one person. One person may be intelligent in one criteria other may be in other criteria. A typical classroom setting prioritized learning from the logical, mathematical and verbal linguistic intelligences. So, in a classroom, uh, we give importance to the logical and mathematical thinking and verbal and li linguistic intelligence. A child enters into the class already having some linguistic knowledge, they show 
learning from other child other different languages may be good in communicative communicative intelligence is there in that person maybe logical reasoning is there mathematical calculation might be there it is imperative for instructors to incorporate learning tasks that support more of the intelligence in order to help students become more successful that means instructor has to incorporate so many learning ta tasks so that it will become a support for the learners to have more successful future in life this will also help students apply their knowledge to new situations and develop each type of their intelligence in turn obviously it is very important for children to learn when they enter into the real life situations outside the world they take up the job they need to have different mindsets and different skills with them along with that lots of intelligence is also they have to exhibit in in front of the real life situations if they learn these things from the childhood in the classroom setting itself then only they can apply new sit situations also they can face very easily when gardner published his multiple intelligence theory many were in disagreement prior to the 1980s the educational field believed that intelligence was already determined at birth that means people used to think that intelligence already from birth they are having but few things gardener say is we can acquire also according to our experiences the researchers used short answer test to assess one's intelligence and it was unheard of to assume that one's cognitive capacity could grow in his theory gardner simply viewed it differently so researchers what they have given in their uh, tests intelligent test short answer type questions to assess how much that person is having the intelligent but it was unheard of to assume that one's cognitive capacity it was not heard by others that a person one person can have the thinking capacity which could grow that means people used to think that whatever intelligence determined that cannot be changed but here researcher says with the gradual experience of that person intelligence can grow also they are saying so gardener defined intelligence as the capacity to create solutions to life's problems the ability to acquire new knowledge to gather understanding on a topic a skill set that is useful to the community whether it be a product or a service what he defines intelligence as it's a capacity to create any solution in life problems suppose i get any problem in my life if i ha if i am having the ability to solve that problem that means i am intelligent the ability to acquire new knowledge also that means gathering so many things or topics and acquiring new knowledge also he says intelligence and another thing that is very very important that is skill set what skills they are applying in the community maybe product or service that is also intelligence he says now gardener also had some additional beliefs all humans have all nine unique intelligence potentially more which have yet to be reached that means each and every individual is having all the nine intelligences we will discuss about these nine intelligences in the next class but as if now uh, let me tell you few examples of verbal intelligence kinetic impulse intelligence mathematical intelligence emotional intelligence there are few intelligences i am talking about right now but i'll discuss in the next class with nine intelligences also now what gardner says is all human beings are having all the nine intelligences but potentially which had to be reached all the intelligences that single person cannot reach he says if reached means that is very extraordinary person then everyone possesses all nine intelligence in various amounts a person may have emotional intelligent like me so i i am so much emotional 
so i ha i can handle maybe i cannot handle that means i am not reached to my emotional intelligence level to the high but i am i have reached to certain level other person might have very big level of emotional intelligence when they go out they can handle the emotions very well so each in individual having various amounts of that intelligence then each each individual is made up of a unique combination of all nine intelligences for example i i may communicate i am a teacher that means i i can communicate with people easily but it is not that i can sing very well i have bodily appearance very well i cannot say all that i have mathematical intelligence i cannot say that so each individual is having combination of all the nine intelligences he says these intelligences are uniquely arranged in each individual's brain and may or may not work collaboratively together just now i told you they cannot work collaboratively for each and every individual students can experience greater success if learning tasks were directly related to their developed intelligences obviously when the students will get uh, successful in learning things when they get learning tasks such that they can use their brain they can have so much that means brainstorming situations which makes the child to learn things and uh, move forward to the greater success then intelligences can be developed or weakened ignored or strengthened with practice obviously some intelligences we can develop or some intelligences can be weakened and some we can, we will we can ignore sometimes and some we will strengthen with our practice so this is all for today i will continue the topic with howard gardner's nine multiple intelligences in the next class if you like the video please hit the subscribe button and subscribe like share and comment below thanks for watching Thanks for your attention and time. Happy learning.